Number 67, Astronomy Application. Energy from the sun arrives at the top of Earth's atmosphere with an intensity of 1.3 kilowatt per meter square. How long does it take for 1.8 times 10 to the 9 joules to arrive on an area of 1 meter square? All right. So first thing is they tell us an intensity. So let's just start with that. I already noticed, though, something's off with the unit, right? So in terms of plugging in intensity into formulas, we know we don't need or can't use kilowatts necessarily. We should really uh, use watts. So I'm going to get rid of the kilowatt. I'm going to do that conversion, right? 1,000 watts is 1 kilowatt. That cancels the kilowatts. And now we're going to have, this is about 1,300 watts per meter squared. So this is the intensity now in the, with the appropriate units. Okay. So I know I'm dealing with intensity and they're talking about area here, right? So I'm thinking, well, how is intensity and area related to one another? Oh, look, I have a formula over here on the right hand side, right? It's going to be intensity is equal to the power applied divided by the area over which that power is applied. Now what I realize is, well, I know my intensity. I know my area, right? And then it's asking me for how long? Now, what we can do here is we can do one of two things. Either we can think ahead of time and figure out how can I get time into this equation, or you can just say to yourself, well, why make it difficult? Even though I don't think that some, some may feel that that's difficult and, and that's totally fine. I, it, it sometimes feels a little strange. What uh, we can do instead is just plug in the values and then solve for power. And then let's see where we can go, all right? So why don't we do it that way? So intensity is 1300, the power divided by the area, it's one meter square. So we have consistent units there. So the power is simply 1300. And what is that? 1300 watts, right? 1300 watts. Now, two things you can think about. First question is you can ask yourself, well, what is a watt? In other words, uh, what is another representation of the units for a watt? Well, the representation for the unit is joule per second, right? A watt is a joule per second. So now you realize that actually, wait a minute, in power, there's always going to be an energy and time value in it, basically. And now you might be able to see the connection. Okay, we can do a dimensional analysis if you want, right? We can take, uh, we can take basically our power. So this is 1300. Actually, we would have to do it this way. We have to take the uh, energy that's being supplied. So it'd be 1.8 because we got to wind up with the right unit. So 1.8 times 10 to the 9 joules. And now multiply that by the power, but it's really going to be a division. Okay. Uh, why? Because this is 1300 joules per one second. That's what a watt is. And the 1300 has to go on the bottom with the joule and the one second on the top. And look, the joules cancel. Now it's a division, right? That'd be one way to do it. The other way to do it would be to say, well, what power, what formulas do I know for that? Well, power is equal to energy over time. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that should make sense, right? Energy is joule, time is in second. So wait a minute, if I know the power and they're telling me now the energy, can I just solve for the time? Sure you can, right? Just plug it all or actually just solve for time right now. So T is equal to the energy divided by the power. The energy they told you is being supplied is 1.8 times 10 to the ninth. And then divide that now by the uh, power. So 1300. And notice the equivalence. Look at that and look at that, right? We're going to wind up with the same thing. It's 1.8 times 10 to the ninth divided by 1300. And we get a value now of about 1.38. Hold on one second. 1.38 times 10 raised to the 3456. And that is in seconds. So that's an answer. All right, you can convert that to whatever you like. If you want to convert that into minutes, simply take that value, divide it by 60. So you get about 23,000 minutes. If you want to convert that into, into hours, divide that by another 60. So you get about 384 hours-ish, right? And then if you want days, divide that by 24. It's about 16 days. Totally up to you what you need. All right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. We will see you soon. Take care.